I'm rebuilding people over on this side. In a sort of a semicircle, if you so kind. As soon as everybody's here, we'll get started. Groundbreaking ceremonies for the new Methodist Church. Okay, this is the way I want it. Okay, hit the red button again this time. If it goes out on you, hit that button to the right. I can't wait. Hold it for them. Not out. I don't want you to be. I don't want you to be out of the way. Is there anybody here? Right there. Right I wonder if everybody w was able to get a copy of the bulletin. Is, is, is there? Do we have any left? Anyone? Are we all on? If anybody needs any, I have some here. If you just raise your hand. Anybody need a bulletin? I'll come out. I'll come out here. Raise your hand. Anybody else? <laughs> Turn it down to the No, No, we'll stay right back We're also very thankful that you're here and hope that you enjoy this as much as, as we have in preparing it. Especially my son. Michael, get back here. My mom. Michael. Uh, I'd like to ask you to respond wherever it says bold type, and that will especially happen on the second page. But there's a prayer on the first page and the Lord's Prayer that I'll ask you to share together. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God. How lovely is thy dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, yea, faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God. Dearly beloved in the Lord, for as much as devout and holy people have erected houses for the public worship and work of God and separated them from all unhallowed, worldly, and common uses in order to fill their minds with greater reverence for God's glorious majesty and affect their hearts with greater devotion and humility in Christ's service, which pious works have been approved of and graciously accepted by our Heavenly Creator, let us trust that God will also favorably approve our godly purpose of setting apart this place in solemn manner, that upon it there may be erected a building for the worship and work of Jesus Christ. Let us then faithfully and devoutly ask God's blessing on this our undertaking. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who art ever exalted, yet always nigh, grant to be present with us who are here gathered together to set apart this ground upon which we stand to the honor and glory of thy great name. Let thy spirit descend upon thy church to be established here, and within its sanctuary let thy glory dwell. May thy love fill all who shall here seek thy face, and may thy presence be with them as they go forth from this place in the peace and power of thy Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The message in Scripture from Ephesians says this, I, therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all lowliness and meekness, with patience, forbearing one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call, one Lord, 
one faith, one baptism, one God and creator of us all, who is above all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And those gifts were that some should be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the equipment of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the building up of the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature adulthood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. We are to grow up in every way into the one who is the head, into Christ, from whom the whole body, joined and knit together by every joint with which it is supplied, when each part is working properly, makes bodily growth and upholds itself in love. I'd like to uh, ask you to welcome a regular member who's been here since he was born, who has a presentation he wants to make. Dave Harvey. Dave? On behalf of the uh, Rebuilding Committee, we've got a few thank yous first, and then we've got a few words that we'd like to share with you. First, most importantly, we want to thank the entire, the entire congregation, because you're the ones that have made this all possible today. We'd like to make a few special thank yous to Reverend Adley and to Lynn Stanley, who has suffered through this in the physical surroundings that they've had to work in on a daily basis. We also want to give a special thank you to Don Moore, who's chairman of the trustees, and Mike Walton, who's also a trustee, who's been very helpful to us. And also to Ruth Martin, who has been chairman of the administrative council since the time of our fire. We also want to thank all others outside our church community who helped us with donations and prayers of support. They can now go forward and they can give prayers of thanksgiving as we move forward. We all need to remember this is a special day. Since this congregation was formed 156 years ago, we as this congrega congregation has met for over 8,100 Sundays. This Sunday, though, is, is very special as we move forward. We've only had four of these days out of our 8,100. Since our fire a year and a half ago, several of, of us have passed away, members of our congregation. And I know this is also a special day in their eternal heavenly life. Whereas those have passed on, we as a congregation have gone forward, and as you all know, there's been several new uh, attenders born to our congregation. As a past generation, since 1836, that's worshipped here, we continue with the breaking of ground for our third sanctuary building. This shows that we mere mortals come and go, and buildings will come and go, our descendants will continue to worship here for many years to come. This building will be built because of wisdom in the past, hard work and perseverance in the present, and with the faith of the future. We are merely the tools of the Lord, and with His divine intervention, the structure will be built very soon. We must remember, though, that this building that we are breaking ground for today is not a monument in honor of the Rebuilding Committee, but of our present congregation but it's a sanctuary we can share with the generations of the future to worship our Lord. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. It's at this uh, next area where I ask you if you'll uh, respond in the litany by saying we break this ground today. Those are the statements that goes over to the other side and then we'll be finished. To the glory of God in the presence of this congregation, I now direct that ground be broken for the Catlin United Methodist Church. Upon you as members of this congregation rests the responsibility and privilege to cause a church to rise here, which shall be devoted to the honor and worship of Almighty God our Father, and to the glory of His blessed Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. To the glory of God, that a church may rise here, the dirt, Mike. <laughs> that a church may rise here where little children shall learn to love somehow, to learn to love God and grow in grace and goodness and in favor with God and humanity. Melissa, well, would you like to do it? Here, I'll let you do it. Just dig some dirt. Just, just. 
Now throw it, Mike. That's what you do best. Okay. Thank you. You may leave now. Would you respond by saying we break this ground today? We break this ground today. At a church? There's your shovel. You get the big one. That a church may rise here where through the years youth shall come to worship, pause to pray, and rise to serve. We break this ground today. That a church may rise here where the weary and heavy laden shall... Over here, Bill. Try to dig in the dirt. <laughs> shall find that inner peace which the world can neither give nor take away. We break this ground today. Thank you. That a church may rise here where the word of God shall be so read and preached that it shall become the living word and the sa that sacraments so administered that all life shall become a sacrament. That a church may rise here where multitudes shall be refreshed in spirit, relieved from pain, released from bondage, and redeemed from sin. That a church may rise here where the grace of God may be manifest, making our human loves constant, our homes Christ-like, and our families creative centers of Christian witness. That a church may rise here where all who bow in sorrow shall rise in faith in Christ in whom to believe is life eternal. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, in communion with the saints in all the ages, and remembering the heritage that has been given us, we offer thee our praise and thanksgiving. Help us to accept the privilege and responsibility of this, thy fellowship of faith. Here may we keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Enable us by thy grace to dedicate ourselves this day to the solemn task which thou dost lay upon our hearts and consciences. Reveal to us the beauty of thy perfect law and the joy of our living Lord, that with glad hearts we may show forth our thankfulness and serve thee all our days to the glory of thy blessed name. Be now, Lord, now may the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen. Thank you all. God bless you. She's full of nature. Never be like to take that air conditioning from the right. Thank you for your help.